this is a uh, different topic, huh? Nothing unusual, or nothing unusual, but you know, different topic. So we got OnlyFans the Demon <laughs> blows all her Uber drivers. Dang, I don't drive Uber no more. <laughs> I'm just saying. That would have been fine. <laughs> just saying. A whole different level if a woman has five hundred dollars. But this woman right here has five thousand dollars. That's light, man. That's light, man. I think um some of y'all need to get out more. That's all I got to say. Because before technology was built, I'm pretty sure a lot of them women had more than 500 bodies. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. That is really light. That's light. That is light. And we ain't talking about the ones she ain't counting. That's light, bro. And a lot of men have more than that. That's light, bro. You got to get out more. <laughs> that is light. Seriously. Creation and destruction, right? Aren't we here to multiply? Or we just gonna die. Which one y'all trying to do? Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Now that is absolutely wicked, okay? Someone sent this video to my Discord. Five and you know what's so great? Cause five thousand like, I'm thinking like Cause she talking about the neck. I mean I mean Y'all let me know how how many girls have y'all gave some neck to? Some of y'all gonna be like zero. <laughs> I know y'all be lying. I mean, yeah, man. Hey. Apparently, this woman right here loves to just yeah. walk and suck. I ain't gonna lie. She's yeah, she like to please men. Yeah, as she should. <laughs> if she's single, as she should. If she's not married, as she should. What the fuck? What else she supposed to do? The demon. She is literally a, a living and walking succubus. Now she's on this podcast with another P star, so obviously. So this is where the unconditional love part come in, y'all. Everybody got their own roles and jobs here, man. Just cause her job ain't to work at McDonald's or to be the next vice president, her job was to, was to, 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 to suck some dick. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Y'all need to show unconditional love. That's y'all problem these days, bro. If all she want to do is for the rest of her life, let her do that. That's between her and God. That is y'all problem. Y'all want to judge other people. How are you going to judge somebody else? How? How? How is this guy? How? Just because her number is higher than your number? Oh, oh, willy nilly. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, there's nothing new under the sun. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all act brand new to things that's been going on. Just because y'all never heard of it before. Because y'all don't know nobody that do it. Like I said, y'all don't know nobody that do it. I do. So it's like, to me, it's like, okay. <laughs> mm. So now it's a talking point. Let's, let's find the next girl that did, did 10,000 men. I guess that's going to be another talking point, huh? 10,000 men. Oh, my gosh. Even though there's billions of men out here. 10,000 men. Oh, my gosh. Like, y'all are so ignorant, bro. Y'all are dumb. <sighs> tell you what, boy. I tell you what, boy. Y'all gonna learn unconditional love though while y'all on this planet. I I'll let you know that right now. Because this ain't even the start. It's not the start. Yes, people gonna be marrying robots. This not the start. We ain't even started yet. Yes, people gonna have relationship with aliens and all different foreign type of stuff. They already have relationship with dolls and books and different things like that. It's not, it's not, it's not nothing new. It's only because we have technology, which they had before already, which had to be destroyed because y'all didn't know how to handle it. But now that it's back. Oh, ah. Hypocrites. Like you, like, like you don't enjoy a little bit of head here and now and then. <laughs> y'all are hypocrites. Okay, let's get into the hip. Hippocrasis, hip, hip, hippocrasis. I can't even say the word right now. You know what I'm saying? Birds will feather flock together. They both going crazy, and we already know that. And let her go crazy, man. This she want to go crazy. Very, very interesting story. Now, I found this comment right here. <laughs> to be oh so very interesting. As a deaf man, this has to be the craziest video I've heard all day. 
How does that even make sense? Think it's a, as a deaf man, this has to be the craziest bit I've heard all day. He's deaf. How does he hear anything? See what I'm saying? How people just want to... They just want the laughs. They just want to... Ha he 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 Really? How do you hear anything if you're deaf? You better stop saying stupid shit like that too. Before you really turn deaf. Karma hit your ass, you really can't hear. Y'all be tripping. Like, I don't know what wrong with y'all. <laughs> but I know this video is gonna be funny. Yeah, look. Oh, especially if she in the video. <laughs> about to happen to Ain't that a uh, Kazumi? Kazumi, or what her name is? How you say her name? Because she cool. I like her. She cool. She cool in my book, man. Make sure you guys give the like down below. She That's cool in my book, man. She knows she wants. Bodies want. are going crazy, chat. I ain't gonna lie. 5,000 bodies is absolutely wicked. Okay, man. I think she might be capping on that, though. 5,000 now. But I think the reason why I have so much, like, when people are like, no, no way, 5,000. I'm like, for sure. Because when I used to go to festivals, I'd be like. Look, she said for sure. That means she doesn't know the number. That means it could be more or less than 5,000. She doesn't know the true number. She's guessing. You could be over. Tell us some 5,000. Ain't no way you were exactly at 5,000. Ain't, no, ain't no way you remember exactly 5,000 different penises. No. So you got to either be over or below. You ain't exactly at no 5,000. The heck? Who even can't remember no 5,000 people? No. It's not happening. Unless you build a real connection with them. You ain't remember all them damn different types of looking things turned this way and bent this way and turned that way and da da da. You ain't remembering all of that, girl. But let's listen to for entertainment, y'all. Like, if you can find me, I'll give you a free blood job. So I literally, like, at festivals, I think in one night. Yeah, festivals do be like that, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. Them girls do be, yeah, especially on the side of the stage, behind the stage, everything, yeah. No festivals do be getting lit. She right about that. They do be getting lit. It be lit, bro. It be lit, bro. They be like 20 shots in. Like, we all outside. Everybody turned up yelling and screaming, and can't nobody see nothing. Because there's so many people. <laughs> like, yeah, it get lit. You might look over, oh, shit, they fucking. <laughs> like, oh, well, let go this way, y'all. Like, or you might be like, shit, let me get next. And she like, okay. That's just how it is. Everybody lit. It's one slide in, the other slide. One slide out, the other slide in. Huh. <laughs> it is what it is, though. I ain't saying there's no it's demon activity or nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, it's people being people, y'all. Y'all got to understand, this is how we got to 8 billion. We wouldn't get to 8 billion if everybody was having sex in the house, having protected sex at that. There is no way you can get to 8 billion like that. There is no way no way if it was if it, if it was that way do you know how do you know how life would be if everything was so stuck to the rules and so simple do you know how life would be it would be boring it'd be boring there has to be good it has to be bad otherwise it would be boring that's the reason why we came here to experience the duality of both sides the yin and the yang you would just want to, you just want to follow rules all day, go back to heaven, clock your ass out. Seriously. We can bring heaven on earth and we can enjoy the experiences and enjoy the time that we have with each other. But the shit that y'all be doing, trying to cancel people and make fun of people because they enjoy, genuinely enjoy what they do. Like that's, that's messed up, bro. That's messed up, bro. That's really messed up, bro. Dang, dog. Ooh, man. And I shit, I eat 5,000 put. You know what I'm saying? Heck yeah, I go to town. You mean 5,000 baddies? Heck yeah, boy. I mean, boy, it's all up in there, man. Boy, yes. Why not? Huh? Who am I hurting? I ain't hurt nobody. Man, I, I don't know. And then the thing about these these uh conspiracy videos is y'all don't take it with a grain of salt. Y'all don't. Y'all listen to it and be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that, and that's that. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, take it with a grain of salt, bro. It's not that serious. 
Trust me, because if it was that serious, you would not know about it. You would not know about it. If it was that serious, like a meteor, you would not know about it. You won't know. They will hide it. You will never know about it. Trust me, the things that are very serious, you will not know about it. Because if you knew about it, what would happen is your brain would explode like a volcano. Along with the people around you, along with your environment, it would change. There's a reason why certain things are not being broadcasted and why certain things are. They keep y'all distracted for a reason. Because if you really knew what was going on, your brain would explode. I promise you. So keep y'all entertained and distracted by stuff that don't matter. This lady got 5,000, uh, whatever. Okay, the next lady gonna come up, she got 15,000. Okay, the next lady, she got 1,000. Okay, who cares? I'm gonna say y'all are so fucking distracted. Y'all don't even see what's really going on. And it ain't about none of this stuff. This is not real. You get where I'm going with it? Like the entertainment part of listening to, oh, this girl has 5,000. That is, who cares? That's just information in your head, useless information. That's like you typing up on your computer, this girl has 5,000 likes, and you got a document just sitting there. It's like a virus. Who cares? Delete that shit. Like, but for those that are bored, you ain't got nothing else to do with your life. Stuff like this entertains you. Let's get into it. <laughs> I ain't got nothing else to do. I like watching stuff like that. I show Uncle this in love. No way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know she got them levels. Yeah, new levels, new devils. Y'all know how it go. Stop playing. Y'all know how it go. New tax brackets. Y'all know what's going on. Oh, man. Oh, fuck, bro. Yeah. Y'all know she, what's going that on. That means she might have sucked it for real, bro. Because if you... Nah, nah, that don't mean that. That don't mean that. You got to stop that. That don't mean that. That don't mean that. Just, you got to stop that. Don't think that, bro. Don't think that, bro. How many people you know shot the basketball more than 5,000 times still can't shoot? Think about it. Half your homeboys still can't shoot. Take them to the gym and see if they can shoot. They still can't shoot. They shot more than 5,000 times, I'm pretty sure. That don't mean that don't make you good at it. You got to stop that. That don't mean that don't make you no Kobe. She ain't got no Kobe. She ain't got no... <laughs> that don't make you no LeBron, no Steph Curry. You got to shoot more than that. See what I'm saying? Shh. That's what I'm saying. That nut just popped out quick. Gotta be because if you're the 24th night, you can't just you can't just, you can't take too long. Yeah, you can't be 30 minutes. Yeah, you can't be 30. First of all, you don't even need to be told that that is crazy, bro. You gotta keep it rolling. If you see a line behind you, you see that line? Don't be selfish, man. Nigga, hurry that shit up, bro. That's fucking. Nah, you gotta tell her, hey, we don't have to schedule this another day. I need my whole session. I need my two to three hours. I need to go to sleep, wake up, and you still on that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> like, you still on that motherfucker. I don't fall asleep plenty of time. You still on that motherfucker. But, uh, yeah, like, he, he talking about that quickie type. Y'all, ugh, don't be doing that. I had times when I used to do that, too. But, mm -mm, you're a waste of time. I, I hate quickies. I don't like that shit no more. It ain't no point even doing it, then. Unless we out. If we out, then. Uh, yeah, you know I'm saying can't do but much. If you out, if you out, I'm I'm not nothing. So I'm just gonna get a couple strokes in, and we can go do what we gotta do. But I ain't nothing. Y'all niggas don't don't do that. We are no nut. It's gonna be no nut November in about two weeks, two three weeks. Y'all, hey, stand strong, bro. Stand strong, bro. Stand up for what you believe in, bro. Stand strong, bro. Stand strong for your balls and manhood and your kids. That's in your balls that you keep giving away freely. Your energy. Also, your life force and your bone marrow and, and everything else, your nutrients that you keep shooting out. Make sure you stand strong and you keep that. I'm just saying. I'm celibate. You know what I'm saying? I had my fun already, though. So, either have your fun and then become celibate or to become selfish and don't have no fun at all either way either way 
you gonna still end up where I'm at now. You're gonna be chilling. Just chilling, just cooling. Ain't trying to catch no diseases. Or none of that, you know, just chilling. Either way, eventually you'll head to the spot where you just chilling out. I'm only giving y'all this information because I think it's helpful. Like I said, I've experienced a lot. So I might as well give y'all a little bit of information. Rather, y'all ain't gonna listen to it or not. Y'all still gonna do what y'all do. But at least y'all can't be like, oh, you ain't never say. You ain't never tell me. Hey, I told you a lot. Y'all remember that. I told y'all a lot. I don't expect none of these videos to go viral or nothing. I just give y'all the information for the people that get to watch it. You get to see it. You get to hear it. That's great for you. Crazy. That's, That's also a crazy festival. <laughs> That's all festivals. <laughs> That's all festivals. Fuck, bro. Bro, you need a the pizza man. Yeah, but here's the thing. There's no such thing as pizza man anymore. It's Ubers, and I've been sucked a lot of Ubers in my life, and a lot. And those are unscripted for me. Delivery is what it is. Best. I have straight up ridden in Ubers and still paid full price, and they have rated me back after giving them free jobs and stuff. So like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I didn't in their car and just gave them, a job, okay? Who knows? Maybe it's the mess they had to clean. I don't know. Because it doesn't. It definitely wasn't the act. Definitely wasn't the act. <laughs> yeah, don't be leaving no mess in my damn car. People gotta sit. Some people might want to lay down or something that they, you know what I mean? I got to get my shit detailed. I'm be leaving no mess in my damn car. Like, that's just like, what if my grandma got to sit right there? She don't want to be sitting on your, 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 your water type. You know what I mean? Like, now that right there, no. Hang outside. We going to have to, hey. <laughs> we going to have to hang outside the, the, the car or something. Because that ain't, that ain't, that ain't happening. Don't be messing up my damn seats. <laughs> A streamer and adult performer who broke her back in two places after she jumped into a phone pit. That was her? Oh, oh my god! Oh. Ooh. But it's a phone pit. How do you break your back? I see the phone, but she didn't go under. Ooh. And then so her own. Great victory there. She's held down by the pit for Maddie! Oh no, she's fine. Huh? Forget the bodies. First of all, you broke your what? And then you you had to terminate what? Forget everything else. What? This just got deeper. Like what? You don't remember that story? I remember the story. I just didn't know who it was. I remember that. Wait, 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 what? I ain't know about none of that. Wait, what? You got time of her injury. She said, No, I got a thing. She revealed she was pregnant at the time of her injury. She said that Saturday she had to terminate the pregnancy. I take that back. I'm an absolute dickhead. I take that back. I undergo surgery. You don't remember that story? I remember the story. I just didn't know who it was. How's she pregnant and by who? I hope she know. Which one of them Uber drivers did a uh I did a pull up and dash? <laughs> he, he dropped her off. He got what he needed. And he like what what happened? Who who the, who the? And she had to terminate it. She probably was planning on doing that anyway. Counting on the fact that she probably didn't know. Who the, I mean, maybe she did, but maybe she didn't. Hmm. Like I said, we ain't we ain't judging her or nothing. It's just like I don't I don't know. I'm not her, so I'm just like thinking like. I wonder if she knew who it really was, or maybe she didn't. Man, what makes you want to terminate a kid? You hear what I'm saying? What makes you want to terminate a kid? That's why I told y'all be on no nut, because you got to think about it. Them your kids, you just shooting all over the fucking place. Why you want your kid? Don't you want your kids to be alive and born? Like, what the fuck? It doesn't make any sense. It makes literally zero sense. Killing, killing people, like. Literally, and y'all don't even know it. And that's why it, it turns back on you. That's why your energy be lacking and all of that. <laughs> Dang, bro. Really? I remember that, bro. I remember that. I was invisible to you girls, like most men. 
go 80 percent of men i'd say go their whole lives with very little sex no we it, what men oh never mind i'm black i'll be forgetting <laughs> i get that shit without asking my g i don't have to ask my g like who goes with no sex i'm doing it now because I've, I've been denying people I'm like no no i'm good i'm good i'm all right but who goes with no like even when i was innocent before i even knew anything about anything them girls was chasing me bro it was chasing especially when you're innocent they chase you they chase you like you a superstar they chase you because your energy, your seed, your aura, they can smell it. Literally, your semen, you can smell it. It'll start coming through your, your, your pores as it, as it builds up after the three or four months. I'm telling you, they can feel the aggression within you. They can feel the energy. They can feel the life force. So someone who's dying, of course they want your life force. Of course they want your energy. So guess what they're going to do? They're going to suck it up out of you. Duh. How else they gonna get it? Y'all, y'all hear me? I'm hoping y'all hear me. I'm saying you can have the life force to live for 200, 300 years, just like the just like the people used to do back in the day. But if you 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 let them take that life force up out of you, let them take the energy up out of you, and they keep doing it on a constant basis, you never get to recharge. You don't take no break. Like at least three months, six months, a year. You know what I'm saying? Like the athletes do. You don't take no break. You're going to be missing shots. You're going to miss opportunities. Uh, your money going to be burnt out. Um, once she's done with you, she's going to burn you out. She's going to go to the next person. I mean, hey, it's just a cycle. So eventually, you learn to protect your energy. For us men. I don't know about y'all women. For us men. I'm a man, so that's I can only speak on us men. Protect your energy. Like I said, me... Shit, I got a Trojan right here. Let me see what I got. I got a Magnum right here. I strap up and I hold my energy. I just don't nut. Literally that simple. It feels so much better. Don't nut. You get a full body orgasm if you don't nut. Some of y'all never had that before as a man. You know what I'm saying? Try with a whole body still shaking, but you ain't nut. You feel it through your whole pore. You feel every single inch. You feel everything. She feel everything. But it's like, you'll never get there if you just keep depleting yourself of your energy. So y'all need to stay away from masturbation. Do not ejaculate. Hold the energy. Yes, I know it gets heavy. <laughs> you hear me? Yes, I know it gets heavy. It gets heavy. I know. Yes, I know in public sometimes. Yeah, you're going to be you're going to be rock hard in public. Yes, but you need to get through all of that. You are a man. You should not feel any type of way with you having eggplant and banana dick. You got a horse dick. You shouldn't feel no type of way, bro. You want your dick to be long or you want that shit to be short? Y'all let me know. I'd rather a long dick. You feel me? Three legs. You feel me? I'd rather that. And then a short, small ass dick that girls can't even see. I'd rather walk around and she like, damn, that nigga pack it. You feel me? That's more attractive for a man. A woman looking at you and she see you got, not only you got money, you smell good, you got a big dick, she can see it through the fucking pants. My nigga, my nigga, they gonna be chasing you. Y'all not hearing me, they gonna be chasing you. Because all the other people, all the other men around here walk around with these little ass limp dicks, little small ass dicks. Fucking camo toe dicks with the fucking underwear holding they shit, they ball sack up under they, they shit like that. Yeah, I don't understand how that's, that's taking away your masculine ability. Your shit supposed to be hanging. You got a big dick. You let your big dick hang. Big dick energy. Let that bitch hang. Let that bitch do what it do. Y'all be so busy trying to hide it. What is you, a girl? What is you trying to hide your bows for? You feel me? Like you ain't got, you shouldn't have to hide nothing. For what? What you ashamed of? Like I said, quit touching y'all shit, bro. Don't touch your shit, bro. Let let the girls do that. You know what I'm saying? Or just allow it to grow on its own. Allow the energy to surge on its own. That's what God do. 
Every morning, I know y'all wake up. Most people wake up every morning. Y'all wake up feeling good. Keep that good ass energy and keep it going. Don't ah, put it here and put it there. No, keep that energy. Keep it. It's given to you for a reason. Keep it. Stay strong, y'all. Come on, bro. Please. This year. Don't start at the end of the year. Say, oh, yeah, next year I'm going to celebrate. No, start right now. Start today. Right when you see this, start now. Please. <laughs> oh, yeah, Twitch card, right? Yeah. You can't even get a little bit of dick on the side or anything? No, I have four shadow photographs. Did people believe you or they were just like not helping you there? They seen the video. Right? No, people knew. Like, I, I mean, I have the scar and I like, there's videos of me trying to walk off of Wait, how long do you think it's going to be until you can have sex again? Um, Probably another six to eight months. Whoa. Dang. I can't just put the tip in. <laughs> I mean, that's good, though. That's good healing. She's going through a healing journey. A lot of y'all need that. That's good healing. Hey, shouts out to her for sure. So when she come back, her man, her back gonna be still. Like she, she walking, she got there. She ain't had no canes and nothing like that. So hey, hey, you doing good. You doing good. Oh, like, my dog is chat. I know that she was pregnant during the time of her injury. Hopefully everything went okay. Right. But that was really a sign of God telling you, slow the fuck down. Slow the fuck down, yeah. Like, You're going your crazy, ass. Trey. Slow your you need ass. to slow it down. Let me give you a little break. You got it, you know what I'm saying? You got a little year break. Yeah. To get your life together, get your thoughts together, contemplate, reflect. You know what I'm saying? She might find her husband in that year. It might be good for her. See what I'm saying? God always teaches people when it's time to teach them. Do a little inner shadow work or something like that, mm -hmm. but you gotta chill. <laughs> Is that the worst pain in your life? Yeah, I have two rods in there and it's screws for sure. Yeah. This is mm. worse than when Jordan left the game, man. Honestly, that's yeah, that's fucked up. Why you had to say that? What is that dude talking about? What did he just say? I'm not even gonna replay that. Why he say that? He need to be canceled. What? Uh, and she didn't do it on her own terms, either. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. So <laughs> I'm saying, so before that, I was at the bookstore and some random nice dude came up to me and I fucked him. Like, I paid attention to him. Why? Because I like normal guys. Like, I love how she keeps calling normal guys. No, man, just some regular normal. niggas, bro. Just yeah. regular niggas. I fuck regular niggas too. She's fucked five thousand niggas, know, and that'd be like an American record. Definitely not. Like she, she state. should that dead ass. She should be a Guinness for a record. Yeah, bro. she should be keeping track. That's a lot of. Who <laughs> to verify that? She'd be in the book right she now. Would. She would be in the book. Somewhere competing with the other ones. Without a doubt. She'd be in the record book. 5K is, that's a lot of dick. That's a lot, bro. <laughs> that's a lot of dick. That's yeah. all it's, that means she's fucked everything, bro. What is, what's five? One inch, 13 inch, she's fucked it all. Yeah, 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 she had it all. Think about it. I don't want to. Yeah, 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 I was going to say, yeah. Curved right, she's fucked it all. Curved up. Oh, black, white, aging. <laughs> curved up, black, white, aging. And think about curved up. And the end, exactly. Yeah, that got to be very annoying. Your print has to be insane. This shit curve up. Okay, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. this guy. What are you talking about here, guys? You know what you're talking about, bro. But well, we don't want to hear that. No, no, no. Let's be let's be realistic. Like, right, like very, very realistic. What are we talking about here, guys? You don't want to hear it. Curvatures? Like, what's going on here, bro? You don't want to hear it. I'm worried about a nigga's hell, bro. I'm just saying, yo, that shit got to be annoying, bro. And then sometimes you got to think about Sometimes you don't have a curve. Sometimes she makes the curve. She be sucking your thing from the side, and all of a sudden your shit leaning like this. Yeah, that's she did that. She was riding in, she was riding in the bit with like this. Now it's like this. Now your tip hanging like this. It's tilted up or it's tilted like this because the way she she was sucking. It. I'm telling y'all, bro. That that sometimes it be them doing it, or 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 y'all be doing it to yourselves. Sometimes, like I said, stop touching yourself. But. Essentially, I thought it was supposed to be straight. Like a rocket, like a missile. I thought it was supposed to be straight. I don't know. We all different, right? <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Come on. How would you? <laughs> no, I'm just a big head nigga because I definitely want to figure out how that feels. I'm going to cancel this video. I'm going to turn this shit off. A vagina? No, I'm not. 
Ah, okay. She gotta be. That, that, that shot, what are we talking about here, guys? <laughs> you said you want to feel how her mouth feel, bro. <laughs> what are we talking about here? You got a repro reprobative mind, bro. Hear no, see no evil, bro. Hear no, see no, speak no evil. You have a reprobative mind. Because they said that, why do you feel some type of way? He's. Guys, what are we. Oh my gosh, what are they talking about? Oh my god. Blah, blah. Like, bro. Like you never heard a conversation about the curvature of a dick. The fuck? Like you never heard of a, a pussy being big or small. The fuck? These are normal conversations. This thing is, guys. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh. Calm your ass down. Fucking virgin. <laughs> that was crazy. No, yeah. you're crazy. It's a little bit of a long it's a normal life. Concept, Guys bro. only want to date me to like show show me off to other people or their friends. They immediately treat me like Adriana Chechik, like experience, right? So like if I was going to go meet a guy, like they would never hold my hand or anything. The first thing they do is they try and like have a with me. So it's really like disheartening. Oh, fuck, oh, like, oh, Adrian, no. Feel like this this, this I time, feel like this time for the worst. Oh my God, there's no way you think that niggas are going to respect you. Oh. Oh no! You fucking random niggas! Oh come on, nigga! Come on, bro! You can't have it both ways, my nigga. You can't be going around fucking random niggas all the time. Bro, and honestly speaking, that's like a female delusion that a lot of women, like a lot of women, subscribe to that shit. And I'm yeah, and it's like we can sense when you're the neighborhood community thought pocket. Just like you can sense when when the guy is the community whatever. It go both ways. So we we can sense. We like, uh she gonna be easy. Do I want to? And maybe the homie's like, I bet you ain't finna do it. I know you can't do it, bro. <sighs> I guess I'll do it. Or it's like, nah, bro, I know about her. I'm good. Or I feel like I shouldn't do it. But yeah, you can't expect like it's law of attraction. So you gotta expect it. Especially once you reach certain numbers, it's like the universe is going to keep sending you the same thing because that's what you've been attracted. That's what you accepted. That's what you wanted. It's law. Y'all women know law of attraction more than the men. So you should understand that. If you've been accepting the normal guys, what you think going to keep coming up to you? But if you was like Beyonce out here, Kim K out here, and when the normal guys hit you in the DMs, you never said nothing to them. Regardless if you had a husband or not, trust me, your reality will be different because you put different standards, different stand. It was a different structure. But if your structure is, hey, I, I fuck the normal guys, it's like all the normal guys like, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, can I get next? Hey, like, let's be real. So where's the delusion? I don't understand in, in y'all brain what what. How can you delude that? There's no delusion there. She even said it out her own mouth. She fucks the normal guys. Okay, so what you think is going to keep coming up to you? And you, you've been accepting them. You accepted 5,000. You think you ain't going to accept 5,001? You think you ain't going to accept another six? Of course you will. Oh, so we just got to be real, bro. Y'all being real and truthful, bro. That's, that's all it is, bro. I blame the feminist movement. Like I want you to under I want you to see this like this, right? I find it hilarious how all of these feminists and stuff like that talk about empowering women, empower women, empower women. Let's make women equal, equal to men, blah blah blah. But y'all do shit to make your value go from here as a woman to here as a woman, bro. All right. The easiest way for them to empower women would would have been for them to just not to say anything at all. Because then at that point. Us as men, now we have to come to you. Now we have to ask you, like, what's going on? Now we have to actually try to probe to figure things out. But since y'all been out here running y'all damn mouth and being all loud, which obviously y'all don't remember the wise words of, for the women, was it's better to be seen, not heard. I don't know where y'all be getting y'all education from. But for women, it's better to be seen, not heard. Because you're beautiful, so you're going to be seen, but you don't want to be heard. The fuck? Because it doesn't make a difference. 
Y'all can yell, scream, shout. People don't give a fuck. So they decided like, oh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a community for this. It's going to help. No, it doesn't help. You just bring like minded people around you. It makes you feel a sense of security. But then once all of them people are gone, once they're all dead and gone, then what? Exactly. So if you don't have the sense of security, confidence, courage within yourself, these groups and communities is only going to bring you down. A bunch of sheep leading to the slaughterhouse. You're going to get slaughtered. Most men don't like women that's not independent, especially not independently thinking. You can't think for yourself. You have to call your girl group. You have to go like nobody likes that. I don't know where y'all get that from. Nobody likes that. Actually, it's very annoying. I'm saying who taught y'all this stuff? It wasn't your grandparents. I promise you they did. All the grandparents I've ever talked to women and men. Say the same stuff. Oh, and that's not even on a, That's not even me being like, that's just what it is. Do you think a man is going to sit here and want to hold your hand, wife you up, and give you kids after you just told the entire world that you literally blow Uber drivers for? Yeah, somebody do. Yeah. Somebody do it. Somebody for everybody. Somebody do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just won't. Somebody will do it though. Somebody gonna do it. Matter of fact, you don't even do it for free. You pay them to do it. Now that's crazy. <laughs> you pay them to do it. Now that's crazy. You put on your story that you will blow every single guy who finds you at a festival. Who wants to marry that? Who wants to hold hands and cuddle and all that? Come on, that's kind of crazy to me. You will see. But then you gotta think about it. What about the girls who actually do it? You just didn't know they were doing it. But then you cuddle, hold hands, and kiss them all too. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all, y'all just like y'all don't be knowing. Y'all think y'all be knowing? Y'all don't be knowing. She ain't tell you about that. She took that to the grave. She ain't never told you. She never will tell you. I said it's nothing new under the sun, y'all. So it's no it's no reason to be shocked or like, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. It's nothing new. Same shit, different day. And respect you. After you fuck so many dudes, you going around telling people that you fucking. Why do you think that people will sit here and try to be romantic with you, with you? Somebody gonna do it. Fucking 5K penises, dog. Somebody gonna do it. So it's really like disheartening to be honest, and I've kind of just given up. I feel like, sadly, I actually feel like I might not ever find like a boyfriend like that. I'm mean, just gonna be in the wrong process. She ain't complaining though. That's true. <laughs> that's her, like, that's she's not gonna find no nigga, bro. <laughs> she can though. She just gotta talk differently. She got a reprobate in mind too. Like you speaking out saying I'm not gonna find a boyfriend, that shit sounds stupid. Who would say that? A unconfident ass person. Who would say that? You think you think after Sierra and then Future broke up, you think she was like, Oh, I'm not gonna find another guy. The fuck, bitch, I'm gonna I'm gonna find somebody else. Like what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Somebody gonna uh, the fuck? She can go date a Muslim guy. I bet you he'll accept her. That's what I'm saying, it's different people for different people. Y'all be looking at the Western society as stupid and, and, and wild it is out here. It's just stupid and wild. That's it. It's somebody for everybody, bro. Okay, she might. She's going to find somebody. somebody. And this shit sucks. This shit sucks. So I'm going to start saying the obvious. Like, let's, say, let's say 
Let's say you're fat. It's so disheartening. I can't go into Walmart and find. Let's say you're fat. He is fat. What the fuck? Yeah, that's that's just that's just me. Now he said, now he said, Walmart needs to. Walmart needs to update games. And unfortunately, unfortunately, bro, I just I'm probably not gonna be able to work at Walmart. It's it's just so unfortunate that like at the the planes, I have to like walk sideways. It's just it's so disheartening, bro. So. I got a hog sideways, dude. It's not just because you're fat. Like, I'm six foot, but I'm like, we're, we're tall, we're wide, like, we're men. Most planes, I gotta do the same thing. It's not just because you're fat. We're bigger than most people, so they didn't build the planes big enough. I mean, that does not because you're fat. <laughs> but him being fat, he wouldn't know. Like, he don't know the truth. I'm letting you know, bro. As skinny as I am, I gotta walk to the side, too. I gotta turn to the side sometimes, too. Just trying to let it be known so you don't feel bad, bro. I have to walk to the side too, bro. You have wide shoulders, you know what I'm saying? Broad shoulders, man. We sometimes we gotta we gotta turn to the side just to fit past, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. That's not because you're fat. That's people problem, period. We're oversized. All of us. Actually, we're smaller than what we should be. But yeah. You hear what I'm saying though? Now, if you would have said sometimes when you sit in chairs, they break. Now, that is crazy because my cousin did that to a couple of my chairs. He sat in that joint, that joint, the whole, the whole chair bent. I'm like, bro, let me get you another chair. Now, that's crazy. You ain't even that big, bro. You fat, though, but you ain't that big. It's so disheartening, bro. <laughs> It's so disheartening, It's also so disheartening <laughs> that I, like, genuinely speaking, bro, like, and I'm walking around in restaurants and they got the table so close to my Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But that's not just you, bro. That's me too, bro. That goes for every all of us, bro. The table should just be too close. Like you said, restaurants, they got it like, it's, it's a bunch of Chinese people. You know how they short, no offense to y'all, but they short. So they, they, they can move around like little ants around there. But us, we, we kind of bigger. We gonna bump into people. We might be, you know what I mean? So it's not just you, bro. Trust me. Uh, it's so disheartening that I, I got a waddle slide. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. That's like in church. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> it's just so disheartening, bro. Right, I'm gonna come back. Why, we gonna, Why is the chair so small in church like that? Why are they so close? Why? They need to fit more people? Sheesh, Louise. It's even obvious to me since I'm not complaining. But <laughs> and sadly, I might never. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to do what that girl was doing. <laughs> I know what he was for to say. Actually, bro, you look nice, bro. You look good, bro. You just need to hit the gym. I know what he was for to say. Hey, man, shut the fuck up, bro. Oh, man. I talked to a lot of fans of mine while they were waiting like, to sign. Like, oh, gotta see you around the next. Gotta see you around the next. Because I make out with everybody. Oh, my God. Do you yeah. really? At the conventions, you make out with A lot of the times, yeah. Really? Yeah, Do you be sick times. every time? No, no. But you know what? <laughs> I, I never did have COVID, but I swear. I mean, I don't know, but I swear because I came back from Africa at ABN, I was sick, and I'm like, I was sick for 19 days. It might have been COVID, and I made out with like over a thousand people for sure. Ding! Hmm. 19 days being sick. I don't know when the last time I was sick. Yeah, that's something. Uh, like, uh, they let you? Yeah. They love you. I, I... Oh, she's a fucking super spreader. <laughs> <laughs> she's nah, a super spreader. Demon, super spreader. Oh, I got you, bro. Dang. Dang. That's so crazy. She came from another country. And then she she was spreading stuff, but regardless of her spreading it, the men, some of them knew. Obviously, they're like, "Girl, you sick." And she like, "Oh, you must don't want to kiss me." You know how men be. They be like, "Shit, I'll still kiss you. I ain't gonna get sick or whatever the case may be." Ah, uh, but again, bro, it's not just her. It take two to tangle. The man had to answer the phone. He had to set the location. He had to pick her up or whatever the case may have been. He had to tell her where to go, the address or whatever the case. It, it take two to tangle. Don't just put all this shit on the woman. Stop doing that. Unconditional love. It takes two. You feel me? So both people was doing what they was doing. And that's life. That's life. We can't stop everybody.
We literally can't. We can't save everybody. We can't stop everybody. That is real. Somebody just flew from the plane right now, probably sick by the spread of today's family right now. Just came in, oh, baby, I'm home. Ah. It's life, man. Ain't nothing new under the sun, man. That's what I'm saying, y'all. She's a demon, chat. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. That to me is kind of crazy. Everyone is able to live your life a sure. Right. Live your life freely. I am not here to judge you. I'm not here to knock you down. But I just find that shit to be very interesting. I just find it to be very interesting. And it's even more delusional for women to live that type of lifestyle than expect to find a man or a husband. Just be. She will find a man or a husband. There's somebody for everybody. See y'all in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.